got <laughs> uh, Harlequins away. Um, so back in my hometown in London. So I've got to get my uh, all my South African friends that yeah. are living over there in Southwest London. Come come support the Stormers. Come make a noise and then I put it in. Let's put Damien there. See what happens. I mean, he is just absolute quality and class. Yeah, I mean, he's he's electric. Ever since he's returned from his injury, he's just been on top form and. Like you say, it's not like a question of oh, who we're going to put at ten. It's we're we're so blessed with the options that we have across the back line and the forwards. But you know, one, it's difficult to play away from home. Yeah, I mean that's that's what the URC is. That's why it presents this unique challenge because we are sitting here in Cape Town. You know, twenty degrees or whatever. Yeah, um, we're about to go into summer, and the boys are on the other side of the world. It's you know three degrees over there in edinburgh or something and it's a big game next saturday uh dhl storm is against munster yes that feels like a mini test match ah uh, it's i think i remember the return fixture last year um and it it basically is a test match yeah i think those guys are fired up we're fired up and uh yeah we we obviously owe them owe them one so that's gonna be a huge one feel free to re this is super saturday powered by hollywood bets <laughs> And it certainly is. It's Super Saturday with me, Jeremy Harris. 28 after 9 as, uh, gosh, it feels like I haven't seen him in ages. Ben Loder in studio from the DHL Stormers. Ben, good morning to you, mate. Good morning, good morning. Good to be here. Good to see you again, brother. Now listen, uh, let's first get through all of the hard knocks of it. Uh, you've been under the surgeon's knife. Mm. Sounds very dramatic, eh? But that's the reality of it. Uh, talk to us about that injury. Yeah, so it was just after the end of the season. Um, unfortunately, had to undergo surgery, but... It's been a long, hard road uh, back to back to fitness, and I've I've got light at the end of the tunnel now. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, the last time I saw you, which I think was at the at the um, the season launch uh, mm -hmm. out at the DHL Stadium, um, it was still looking a little bit slow. You were still I was much faster than you. Let me put it yes, that way. Yeah. Um, uh, and but now, I mean, you you're looking quite mobile. I think if we had a race now, yeah. I think you got a good a, chance. It'd be a bit closer. Yeah. Oh wow. I think okay. you would have had me back uh, back then. <laughs> Look, I mean, that'll be the first time, uh, probably the only time. Okay, so uh, we've um, we've got you on the road to recovery, but can you give me more or less a date? So I think we're talking less than a month now. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's... Okay, so it really is a home straight now, eh? Yeah, it's home straight, which means I'm doing running, I'm doing what bike, I'm doing wrestling, I'm wrestling the props. It's everything to just get me back uh Goodness, get me back so to you're full me on the flank this uh, this season uh, i mean <laughs> I've, I've been wrestling yeah one of our biggest props so uh yeah i feel like i could do anything now no and i mean i'm i don't know this but i mean i imagine that you are climbing walls in terms of let me get onto the park uh it's it's it feels like it's been a year i mean it's only been four and a half months now but yeah. i'm i'm itching to get back especially when i see the guys um doing so well now and for this game this evening um we've got some big ones coming up as well i just i just want to be out there absolutely listen um we, we're going to talk about the team's performance uh past and present mm -hmm. and also the there's some big games coming our way as you say in the future i want to just pause and ask you because i mean you've been a team man your whole life um uh, i picked up this this clip um from from al pacino mm. uh out of the movie friday night lights um I, I i mean i wasn't looking for it but i, I just sort of stumbled across it uh in terms of halftime team talks mm. this is what the coach says to you when you are down uh you come in and you are trailing by i don't know 15 points mm -hmm. you know it's looking pretty bleak it hasn't been a great first half um but this maybe is a team that you can beat that you have beaten that you should be beating mm. um and he just unloads a team talk of epic proportion on you. Has mm. that happened? Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it brings to mind La Rochelle last year um, in December. Um, you know, we're pool of death. These are the double champions of, of the Champions Cup. And we didn't lead the game at all until the last kick of the game. Um, but I remember, uh, you know, halftime, double gets us in and... and it wasn't sort of lighting a fire under us, but it was it was just this belief. And I think, you know, all the time I was on the pitch and, and even though we were down, we just had this belief that, that, that we could do it. And obviously then we, we got the result at the end. But it was, yeah, there's been a few of those kind of rousing rousing team talks from Dobbo. And do you walk out there? Do you, do you walk out there and the, the, the sort of the hairs in the back of your neck are, are just a little bit, or as you're receiving it, you know, you, you're like feeling... Yeah, it's yeah, right. I can the, feel this energy. Yeah, there's a bit of that, and 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 also when some of the other guys speak, like like Dion when he speaks, and and you just it makes you listen, right? Yeah. And and you feel like yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to battle with you. Yeah. Like that's 
it's it's powerful so i'm asking you guys i'm asking our listeners who have played any kind of sport and i mean you don't need to have played at the same uh, level as as ben but i mean you've walked into a train we've all i'm sure walked into a change room uh, and our coach has given us a talking to where afterwards you run through the wall never mind out the door you run through the wall to get back onto the park uh can you remember that what did it feel like uh what do you think um you know coaches like dobo say what do you think the energy is rushy as well i'm i'm imagining as well uh swaste the brain also comes to mind of course the the bach women in action uh against italy today seen any of the the action from uh, from wxv2 yeah i've seen i've seen a little bit of a, i mean you know great result first round and then like uh, that second round against the wallabies just great absolutely great fight um it was you know sad not to get the result but it was like a monster performance there and what a great um tournament has been i mean um i have followed the the springbok women's team for a long time but it it feels and not only them but just the quality of play but it feels like we we are watching you know women's rugby maybe even just women's sport sort of come of age mm, yeah i mean it's like seeing some of the crowds there seeing seeing like you say the the style of play the quality of play um ah, it's really cool to see and um you know i think another big game today against italy i think it's uh it's exciting time hopefully some big numbers there listen we're mm. talking about that halftime talk uh ben Dode and i are going to chat about other things as well um but um take a listen to this al pacino clip Tell me what it does in terms of maybe raising the hairs on the back of your neck as well. Uh, tell me about your stories of halftime team talks. Are you a coach? Have you done it yourself? Uh, and maybe it's been for a first team rugby team at school. Uh, it's possible. Uh, send those messages through 082 1049. Take a listen to this. I don't know what to say, really. All comes down to today. Either we heal as a team, or we're going to come inch by inch play by play till we're finished we're in hell right now and we can stay here or we can fight our way back into the light one inch at a time now i can't do it for you you know when you get old in life things get taken from you i mean that's 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 part of life but you only learn that when you start losing stuff you find out life's this game of inches the margin for error is so small I mean, one half a step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. On this team, we fight for that inch. On this team, we tear ourselves and everyone else around us to pieces for that inch. We claw with our fingernails for that inch. Because we know when we add up all those inches, that's going to make the difference between winning and losing. Between living and dying. I'll tell you this, in any fight, it's the guy who's willing to die who's going to win that inch. Anymore. It's because I'm still willing to fight and die for that inch. Because that's what living is. The six inches in front of your face. Now I can't make you do it. You gotta look at the guy next to you. Look into his eyes. Now I think you're gonna see a guy who will go that inch with you. You're gonna see a guy who will sacrifice himself for this team. Because he knows when it comes down to it, you're going to do the same for him. That's a team. And either we heal now as a team or we will die as individuals. That's all it is. Now, what are you going to do? One, I tell you what, there's no white flags anywhere in sight. Bishop Briggs, of course, and white flag. Uh, part of the uh, soundtrack to the hit movie Six Underground with Ryan Reynolds. Uh, on the WhatsApp line, Joseph says, I love your guys' music. He says, good night. My, my name is Joe. But it's fine. Joseph, wherever you're from, maybe you uh, put in a place where it's time for good night. Uh, but um, uh, that, of course, that clip from Al Pacino uh, from the movie Any Given Sunday. Angela on the WhatsApp line also just going Any Given Sunday. That's Al Pacino. Carlisle Sampson from Miami in the USA. 
Uh, also, uh, giving it the thumbs up. Chilling uh, is the message as well uh, on the WhatsApp line. Uh, how'd you experience that one, Ben? Yeah, I'm ready to run through the wall here. I'm ready to go. I'm I mean, that's a go. team talk, right? Oh, that's uh, there's team talks and there's team talks, and that <laughs> is a team talk. Listen, let's talk a little bit about uh, the the game so far. So far, I mean, I imagine, um, and I mean, I don't need to be a genius to work this one out. It's difficult to play away from home. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what the URC is. That's why it presents this unique challenge because we are sitting here in Cape Town, you know, 20 degrees or whatever. Yeah, um, we're about to go into summer and. The boys are on the other side of the world. It's, you know, three degrees over there in Edinburgh or something. And um, it's tough. It's tough. It's tough to adjust to the travel. It's tough to adjust to the weather. Um, and it's always tough to win on the road. So one win, one loss. Um, you know. I mean, how, how would we respond to that? I mean, it's a 50-50 kind of scenario. We would have obviously liked to have taken both. Yeah, we'd like to have taken both. I mean, last year was even more difficult. Yeah. Uh, obviously, starting with four, four on the bounce losses on the road. So... Yeah, I mean, we'll see how tonight goes. I think the boys will be fired up. But, you know, we're obviously facing a load of Scotland internationals there in Edinburgh. So it's well, I mean, to be fair, they're facing a load of uh, South African internationals at the indeed. same time. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, it's, a, it's a really exciting-looking uh, DHL Stormers team for today. Uh, I'm particularly excited to see uh, Damien Willemsen in 10. Mm. Um, uh, and, I mean, that isn't any kind of um, sort of like, oh, gosh, who are we going to put it in? Oh, let's put Damien there, see what happens. I mean, he is just absolute quality and class. Yeah, I mean, he's he's electric. Ever since he's returned from his injury, he's just been on top form. And like you say, it's not like a question of oh, who are we going to put at 10. It's we're, we're so blessed with the options that we have across the back line and the forwards. But, you know, anyone can, can any number of players can do a job yeah. at that 10 position. And I think, you know, this the look of this team is super exciting. With Damien 10, Warwick at 15, and then the rest of the boys doing their thing. No, it's very, very exciting. Very physical uh, team uh, that has been picked there by Coach John Dobson. That one gets underway at uh, 6.15 p.m. SA time. Don't get out of that one. Uh, it's Edinburgh against the DHL Storm. There's a couple of other South African teams also involved. Uh, but I want to just run through some of the other games coming up. But before we get there, uh, I mean, I, I, I suppose the, the, the other thing that I was realizing as I was talking to you is that your rehab group, I mean, let's call it that. Mm. <laughs> I mean, that's like a mini first team waiting to just run out of the park i mean just run through the names again yeah so we've got you know myself um Yevan, um who's obviously yeah waiting to come back dion <laughs> kitsy yeah. um world yeah. cup winner world cup winner yeah exactly there's 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 a few of us who we're all like you say just climbing up the walls ready to ready to get back as soon as possible so you know i think once once everyone's fit then it presents dobbo with a bit of a headache uh over who to pick but um, I think he wants that headache. Yeah, I think it's a it's a good headache to have. I think it's a good headache to have. Um, uh, ben, just the other thing, of course, is you know what is the um, I mean, it, it, what's the obedience level? I mean, let me. Uh, it's probably not the right way to ask the question, but in terms of going, you've got to be patient. You can't rush this. You must wait. In your case, mm. until the the middle of November, say, you know, or, or can't? Are you going? Oh, come on, I can surely run at the beginning of November. <laughs> I mean that is that's one of the hardest parts of rehab, especially once you get get to a point where you feel okay. Like I feel, I think I've played feeling worse. Yeah. Um, put it that way. But you know the that's the job of the physios. They say you know like you're not ready, you're not ready. Yeah. And I have to listen to them. But I'm I'm pulling at the leash the whole time. <laughs> Gee, I can't be surprised about that, not even in the least. Okay, listen, uh, we've got uh, Ben Loder in studio, of course, uh, as we get ourselves into uh, the, the back end of Super Saturday. DHL Storm is in action tonight. He is not part of that game, but he certainly will be screaming at his teddy, make no mm -hmm. uh, mistake, uh, but he's getting himself good and ready to return early in November. List as well, uh, as we get ourselves into the last couple of minutes uh, with Ben Loder uh, from the DHL Stormers, rehabbing, recovering, uh, and almost good and ready to go. I mean, I mean, I fear for the team that you will face uh, when you run out against them. Uh, but let's quickly talk about the assignments that lie ahead. Even if you're not involved, uh, there's a big game next Saturday. Uh, DHL Storm is against Munster. Yes. That feels like a mini test match. Uh, it's. I think I remember the return fixture last year. Um, and it, it basically is a test match. Yeah. I think those guys are fired up. We're fired up. And uh, yeah, we, we obviously owe them, owe them one. So that's going to be a huge one. 
feel free to repay that one if you don't mind. Mm. Uh, six o'clock, by the way, <clears throat> uh, next Saturday out at the DHL Stadium, just around the corner from us where we are at the moment. Then uh, we've got Glasgow uh, the week after that. Uh, it's an early kickoff in the afternoon. Uh, One forty-five. I don't know if you folks are going to know what to do with yourselves. I mean, it's so early. What are we going to do afterwards? Mm. Um, also, a big game. Also, a huge game. I mean, that that's the last game I played in. Um, I don't think I'll be back for this one, but I'll be playing it alongside the guys. I'll be sat in the stands, heart racing. Yeah. Um, again, we owe them. So, yeah, huge games around the corner. Absolutely. And then, uh, then we got a bit of a break because, mm -hmm. well, a bit of a break from Vodacom United Rugby Championship action mm -hmm. because we've got um a champions cup matches uh what are the games that we're playing so yeah after the international break we've got um toulon um wow and then we've got <laughs> uh harlequins away um so back in my hometown in london so i've got to get my uh, all my south african friends who yeah. are living over there in southwest london come come support the stormers come make a noise and then of course just before christmas uh on the 21st of december it's back to vrc vurc uh, action uh, and it's the Lions in Cape Town, uh, as everybody comes to Cape Town, uh, mm. even the rugby players, um, and that's going to be exciting. So, I mean, it is nonstop, mm. um, and I think that you are going to enjoy the fact that you've had this opportunity to charge yourself to the max and be ready to run out in the park. 100%. I missed the, uh, I missed the Christmas derbies last year through injury, and... Uh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, be warned, guys. He can't wait. Uh, and he's looking like a beast at the moment. So uh, I would be very fearful uh, if this man ran down the park at me. Uh, I would run in the opposite direction, Ben Loder. But it is always good to see you. Thank you so much for your time. Always a pleasure. Thanks for having me. And have a super Saturday. Thank you. You too. There we go. Listen, let's try and...